Hi, my name's Benita and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to colour beautiful roses using this design by Eva Nikonen from Colour in Heaven issue 92 Wonderland special and it is on sale now. For today's tutorial, we're going to be colouring in, first of all, this beautiful rose to give you an idea of the techniques that you can use that, that you can then carry over to do on your completed design. The technique that we are going to use is just by simply using three to four colours and I'm going to be using today the polychromos, they are Faber Castell and I'm going to be using magenta for my shadows. I am going to be using purple pink for my mid tones and I'm going to be using light magenta for the lightest colours and for a little bit of blending and for a little bit of a subtle highlight we're going to be potentially using white. So the technique that we're going to be using today is quite a simple one and uh, it's quite an effective one and you can use this on all of the miniature roses so it translates downscale very very easily so what we're going to do initially is use our lightest of the colour so for me that is light magenta and we're going to simply work on the top of our petals I'm going to work on the left side because I am right handed so I want to avoid working over anything that I've already previously coloured so I'm going to work on the left side and then we're going to work our way across so just on the top half of the petal there we are going to put our lightest colour in small oval motions just to get the best pencil coverage down on our paper I'm then going to grab our mid colour which for me is purple pink it's light purple pink the number for the light purple pink is 128, the number for the light magenta is 119 and the magenta is 133 and white is 101. So we're just going to go a little bit over the light magenta but we're going to leave a gap down here where our shadows will be. So I'm going to grab my magenta and then we're going to colour in where those shadows are. You'll notice I'm not coming all the way up. I'm literally just keeping my pencil down here in this little section because our mid colour is what's going to help us blend. We do have a bit of a fold here on the petal, so I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow just on the side of that just to accentuate the shadow that could be there. And then we're going to use our mid colour again, our purple pink. We're just going to blend over just on the very edge of where we put that shadow. And then again, we're going to go in with our lightest and we're going to blend over the edge of our mid and just put another coat down on top of what we've already done. And that is pretty much our first petal done. I just want to go in a little bit here, a bit more with our mid tone. A little bit down here there you go so we're going to rinse and repeat that process as we work our way around the petals so again we're going to go in with our lightest then our mid and then we're going to go in with our shadow I'm going to put a little bit of shadow behind this petal here and that's just to help push this petal a bit more forward and to cast a little bit of a shadow on the petal behind it. And again we've got a crease just in here so we can bring that shadow up a little bit. And then we're going to go in with our mid colour. And then we're going to go in with our lighter colour. And we've already got some beautiful transitioning happening which is really making it look nice and 3D. So we're then going to work on the next ones. So again we go in with our lightest just on the very top. Where this petal folds back, so any petals that fold back we're going to keep 
the whole of that petal the lighter colour to begin with. And then our mid colour. And what we're going to do is just to make this look a little bit more rounded, just along the edge line here, we're going to put a bit of our mid colour and just gently blend it out. Lighten your pencil pressure the further you come out. And then you can blend that over with your lightest. And that just helps give it a little bit more of a curve. And then right down in here where the light won't be hitting much, we're going to put our shadow. We're going to blend that out a little bit with our pink purple. And one last go over with our lightest colour. I'm going to move around to this petal. I find it easier to work on a petal by petal basis when we're looking at doing something this size. When we come to the centre, we will use a slightly different technique which will help translate over to the smaller flowers and make it a little bit easier for you instead of trying to get in and do every single individual petal. But on this scale, this just helps to show you the difference, just having that little bit of extra blending and changes from your lights to your darks. Just gonna get these shadows in again. We've got a little bit of a crease in here. So I'm just gonna do one side of that crease. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of a shadow just underneath this petal here just so it looks a bit more raised blend that out a bit with the mid and then again we can go back in with the lightest color now on this petal here it is pretty straight as in um, completely folded over so there's not really anything down that we can add some dark shadowing to but what we will do on this particular petal is accentuate the shape that is there um, um, and by the looks of it, some quite natural curves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mid colour, which is the purple pink, and just where it dips down, so just in the valley, we're just going to pop wider at the front, narrower at the back. Just going to pop a little bit of a dark or a mid-tone, just to sort of accentuate those curves in the petals. Now this is where your white can come into play and you can just gently blend over. So we've gone back into our mid-tone and I'm just going to go down where the petal just starts to fold over. And then we're going to grab our lightest and then we're going to blend over just the outer petals and just the back sections here. And that way we've got this beautiful little shape happening on our petal. This section here, where we can see it's tucked down in, we just want a little bit of shadow down at the very, very bottom. And then we're going to come straight in with our mid-tone to fill the rest. We don't need to worry about our lighter ones. So we're going to work on this petal next and again, for the first half, we're going to fill it with our lightest colour. We're going to blend over with our mid colour. You'll notice I come over the edge just a little bit and that just helps us to blend the two colours together a bit more seamlessly. I'm going to take this little section here as a fold and I'm actually going to pop a little bit of a shadow underneath here just to make it look a bit more like a bump in the rose, like a, another curve in the petal. And then underneath here where our shadow would be. Don't come out too far because the petals are quite spread. But I am going to pop a bit of a shadow that comes just out from the petal above it. Then we're going to blend that out gently with our mid colour, so our purple pink. And then we're going to blend over again with our lightest. So the technique we're going to use on this middle section 
is one that can translate quite easily over to the smaller flowers and what we're going to do is we're going to oh wrong color there we're going to grab our lightest and we're going to gently shade over the entire central bud what we can then do is with our mid-tones like on the previous one where that crease is just folding just on there we can bring it down into our shadow areas and just pick wherever you feel your mid-tones will be on your petal just leave the edges nice and bright if you can so don't go too far up to the edge going to follow that creasing there of the petal and underneath here where it would start to get a bit darker the even without our deepest shadows in there we're starting to get some nice form happening and then we can go in with our darkest which is for me the magenta and we're not going to come up too far we're just going to keep it down low underneath here just at the very bottom you want to leave a little bit of light in the middle we don't want to close that off too much we're going to put a bit of a shadow there just to again lift this petal up from the one at the back a little bit under here I think we're going to have a little bit of a shadow just under here And then we can go back in, just blend over with our lightest colour. And again, if you wanted to make some bits just a little bit brighter, you can then blend over with your white if you wish. I'm going to grab my mid colour again. So my middle, uh, my purple pink, apologies. We're just going to strengthen up some of the mid tones just to help blend those shadows out. like so so we've got our last three petals to work on so we'll work on this top one first and then again we'll come down about halfway quite a lot of petal exposed all the way down on the edge there and then we can come with our mid color and I'm going to play on this shape a little bit on this side I think we're just going to maybe bring some of that mid color up just again to to give the petal some curve Again, the same technique can be used when we scale down. And then we're going to go in with our shadow. Again, I'm just going to blend that with my mid color. And then we can go in with our lightest again, just to finish that off and blend it all nice and smooth. into the last one we're going to keep the top part of this petal nice and light so with our lightest color light magenta but with our mid-tone our light purple we are gently just a little bit here going to round off just to again give it a little bit of notion of curve and then we are going to pop some shadow underneath again just to push that petal a bit further back so i've done that with my purple pink and then I'm going to come in with my magenta and just on the very edge where it meets I'm just going to make that shadow a little bit stronger and then we can come down into here and then with our mid our light um, pink purple now I would say that this petal is above this one so what I would do is I would look at drawing in a bit of a shadow We can make that just a tiny bit stronger just on the edge there and then we're going to blend everything over with our lightest color like so and then we're going to start moving on to our last petal 
and we're gonna just go around halfway with our lightest and then with our mid color again I'm gonna turn this little bit here into a fold or a curve so we're just gonna stop here where it starts to curve that way and we'll come down a little bit and we'll lighten as we come around we are going to want a bit of a shadow because of this petal here but end that shadow before you get to the very very tip of your petal and then we're going to blend with our middle color so our purple pink And then blend with our lightest colour. I'm just going to make this little bit stronger here with our mid colour. So now what I want to do is show you how you can translate this technique into the smaller petals. So we can see here from some that I have done already that actually it doesn't matter what colour you use, the technique that we've used translates beautifully into any colour that you decide. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick one of the smaller flowers now just to demo the technique that we have learnt to show that actually we can get some pretty small flowers looking quite 3D. What we're going to do is the central section that we did previously, this little intersection here, that's the main technique that we're going to use and we're going to pick the little flower on her head here. So we're going to cover the whole of it in a very light layer of our lightest colour. With our mid colour we're going to work on getting little bit more of a 3d effect going so literally from the middle of our petal down we can start working we want to keep the very tips of our petal nice and pale so we're coming from the bottom of our petal up to roughly halfway so we're keeping the top of the petal nice and light. We're going to then repeat the process with our shadow. Uh, nice sharp pencils will help you a great deal when doing this. And we're just going to go in and add the shadow in the absolute darkest areas. We're going to go again with our mid-tone. Just to blend over where we've put some of that shadow. And then with our lightest. It really is as simple as that to get some beautiful 3D roses happening. And there you have it. Definitely have a go with other colours. It's nice, um, it's quite fun actually, especially in a book like this where it should be all fun and fantastical. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and if you do colour the design, Colour in Heaven issue 92 Wonderland special is available from the Colour in Heaven shop. Link is in the description below and please like, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future Colour in Heaven videos. Bye!